Hey guys, I'm just doing a quick video on these um, Playmobil Scooby-Doo figures. They are Halloween and so I had to have them. It's a ghost card. It comes with a, like a ghost card and a sticker. Like, okay, great. Super fun. So stickers, but like this Halloween guy, there's like witch doctors and voodoo people. Um, it just seems like a really fun item. I got these at Walmart. I really, I'm so sorry. I forgot the price, um, but I've only seen them once. And when I saw them, I got four of them because, um, I love Halloween and I've recently been really getting into the Playmobil figures. They're larger than Legos and so it's fun for my kid to do. Um, I have like a little toddler and they're just um, a lot of fun. This is, who did we get? Um, okay, so it does come with, oh, it's like a witch doctor, a ghost card and a sticker. This is the sticker, and this is for the witch doctor. This is so cool. All right, so this is series one. I hope they make more series. I don't watch a lot of Scooby-Doo, but I do um, I do love Halloween things. Let me move that light so that you can see this real quick. There are a lot of different really, really cool ones. And so, yeah, I just... Um, I just like Halloween so much. Halloween makes me really, really happy. I'll just move it there so that you can. Um, Playmobil comes with a lot of different pieces. <laughs> I'm just gonna, there's no instructions on this, of course not. And the thing is you have to put like the arms in first before you put, you attach it to the body. And I can never figure out, okay, so this is this way. And then it just sort of slides into this body build and you have to snap it in place. And the head, oh no, I missed out on this thing. Okay, sorry. There's like a crotch covering, butt covering loincloth. And then, and then I can snap the arms and the feet in place. Um, and this is the head. Ooh, he's got a mustache. He's like a mustachioed fella. Which goes here. I mean, he's got like a lot of accessories and I'm not super sure where all these accessories go. So this is what he looks like. Um, oh, okay. So this is like a little pouch and it just, I think, snaps into this fun baby, it's like a little fun pouch. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a, like it's a, like a card that tells you what kind of ghost it is. Maybe because I'm not a, um, I'm not a Scooby-Doo fan. So I don't watch the show, but maybe they all, it looks like all of these guys are carrying identity cards my husband's gonna absolutely hate me for this. I'm so bad at lining up stickers in the appropriate place and he's so anal about that. I'm just like, oh, this looks right. Oh, here we go. I'm a little upset that this is a sticker and not like printed on to the thing. Although it is a stunning, beautiful sticker, so yay. All right, and then it says Indian doctor here. Um, okay, so here he is, fun, 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 and here is his ex, oh my gosh, oh, and the mask just sort of covers his face this way, yay, a little Indian witch doctor, um, and I'll just leave this weird thing over here. Okay, so we'll do the next one. I love these like little Halloween things. I think they're really fun. Okay. Halloween is one of the few things I'll straight up pay full price for. This is, oh, it's like the zombie ghost. 
Okay, let's see what the card says. The card says space kook. Fun. All right, well definitely, and then here's our space kook, what he's supposed to look like. So definitely keep space kook. There should be instructions that come with these things because, nope, there's no instructions there because this is not an easy build. Come on, this is like impossibly hard. It came with like three of these space things and ugh, this is gonna take me forever. Yeah, this is not instructions. This is just another menu. Watch me struggle viciously as I try to figure out what any of this is. All right, so these go into the legs, I'm pretty sure. I'm almost 100% certain. Maybe like this. Maybe they go into the legs like this. Okay, yeah, they go into the legs like this. All right, legs. And then here's the body. What are these rubber gaskets for? I mean, come on guys, please include instructions with these next time. All right, so here is the, pretty sure that's the body. Great. Ooh, he's like a bearded fella. So they have these arrows at the back of the head that line up with little notches in the um, in the hair. So you're not guessing where that goes. Although I'm still bloody guessing, I guess, because it's not going well for me. <laughs> I really like these Playmobil things, but I never have to put it together myself. My husband's always around and I don't want to be one of those girls who sound like she just relies on her husband for everything, but I am genuinely crap at putting these sorts of things together and I have bad hand-eye coordination and cannot um, even fathom a guess as to how they're supposed to go on. I'm just going to stick this head in the body first and then move from there. Because I'm just... Um, falling into society's traps, I guess. <laughs> this is horrible. We're just gonna move on from this one. It is too hard for me. And we're gonna go to the next one. <gasps> oh, such a sad day when I can't do this without my husband. <laughs> Ooh, I have no idea who this is kind of some kind let's see what it is it's a zen 2o what's a zen 2o this seems less complicated i'll take this one like this seems like a doable doable look all right why are there two of these foot pieces okay it's like a skirt okay foot piece that goes into a skirt, all right, there. And then that goes into this piece, fun. And then this has a little thing here and you have to put the arms in. Totally killing it at this one, guys. Totally able to just said I was killing it. Seriously. This is going to be great. This is, oh, like the face has two faces. It could be happy face or weird face. Okay. I'm a capable human being, y'all. I can, I can do this. This is going to be fun. I'm just going to do this. Seriously, why are there no instructions on this? And I'm gonna stick this in here. That looks right. Then I'm going to do this as the um, happy mustachioed side. Oh, there's so many pieces. 
um, and then do the headpiece. This guy looks like one of the shepherds for um, like a baby Jesus nativity. All right, so they just included a lot of extra pieces is all. And I'm gonna put this fun hat on. Ha ha. And then give him his weapon. Great, y'all, I did it. <laughs> Yay! Don't know what these extra pieces are about. Just gonna move them aside. Now we're gonna do the very last one. I just want the Halloween head, dude. Okay. Another witch doctor. Oh, this witch doctor has glasses. Yay, this witch doctor. Okay. Um, this is our witch doctor. Da, 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 da. And this one is witch doctor, legitimately witch doctor. The other one is Indian doctor. Okay. All right, I've already put one of these together. So this should be cake, right? I mean, I get the face piece. This is, this is really demoralizing. I must say, I am, I am quite demoralized by how difficult these children's toys are for me personally to put together. Nope, can't even center. I'm also like young, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not old enough to be struggling this hard. My hand-eye coordination is there. I have, you know, I'm saying youth is a little far. I don't have youth in me, but I've got, you know, not age in me yet. All right. This cannot be that difficult. Another skirt situation. One of these foot pieces that like goes on like this. Um, do you have another skirt? Okay, so there's like a neck piece that seems to work on either side. So thank, thank God for these small miracles, guys. Then these arms. So you have to like hold these arms in place and then there's nothing holding them in but your fingers until you shove them into this fun snappy thing sorry asian weird guy um okay so that looks fine there then i'm gonna here's his adorable glasses person okay there's my witch doctor thus far. Oh, my witch doctor is maybe a lady. Okay, witch doctor thus far. They come with these little foot things to dress up like a witch doctor. Oh my gosh. Maybe because I'm an adult, I don't have tiny delicate hands. I mean, I'm a pretty tiny adult, guys. Like, maybe tiny, delicate children's hands are the ones that are meant to put these things together. <laughs> okay, love this. It is a skull that goes, ooh, this is not a hard plastic, this is a bendy stick. That is a surprise. Okay, eee! my favorite thing so far. Okay. Okay, holding this head staff, and looks like there's a gilt, like yellow feather that goes on top of the witch doctor head, which covers. Ugh, oh, love it, loving this one. Okay, who cares about this weird piece that comes with it? Should we try this again? How difficult must it be? Honestly, it cannot be that difficult. Like, I guess we should just, where did, where did I leave off? Like the hair was not uh, fitting in for me. We're just gonna, it's supposed to snap into place and it's just not snapping. What is this hair supposed to look like?
this is just borderline embarrassing now. Like, I guess we could just do it without the hair. I feel like I'm almost there. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> we're gonna do this without the hair. So it's got this body piece that snaps into the front. Sorry, witch doctor. I'm gonna put you over here because you're my favorite. This body piece that snaps into the front. Yay. And then this other body piece that snaps into the back. Another yay. What am I supposed to do with these? How do these attach? There are these rubber things. Okay, I'm I'm done. Like theoretically, <laughs> theoretically, you got all the pieces on like such. And then I don't know how it's supposed to stay on, but then it looks like this. <laughs> Yay! Thank you so much for watching this epic fail of a video of me not being able to put together Playmobil toddler toys. Um, uh, yeah, I guess happy Halloween, which is always in my heart. Thanks to these wonderful witch doctors. I love the little fringe on the side of this Indian doctor. That's kind of cool too, with a little loincloth. Um, maybe I'll do another video where my husband effortlessly throws these together in like two seconds. Thanks for watching, guys.